a tutorial on how to import a Teams folder in Power BI Desktop and then to combine its content. Okay, this procedure could also be applied to folders stored on a SharePoint site or on OneDrive. I'm going to open my Teams and inside Teams I have a team demo and in which I have files organized in different folders. So I created myself a folder called demo on Teams. And then I have this folder I'm interested in budget. So in site budget, this is where we store annual budget files. So I'd like to upload all the budget folder content to my Power BI and then um, combine the folders content. So a, a way to do that uh, I go to my folder on Teams inside the folder, and then I choose one random file that clicking on the three dots, I'll be able to open, open in the app. So this file will get opened locally on my computer. What I'll do is I'll go under the file menu, and then you can find info about that file and the option to copy its path. So once I've clicked that button, I can close that file. And I'm going to go to Notepad or anywhere I'd like, and I'm going to paste that path. So that is the path to uh, one specific file in the folder I'm interested in on my Teams channel, which is actually always uh, a SharePoint URL when it comes down to it. So now let's upload that in Power BI. So here's a way how to, um, maybe more manual, but uh, quite easy. So from your home panel, I'm going to go directly to transform data to launch the Power Query Editor. And here with the new source button, I'll launch a blank query and I'll only get the formula bar. So my formula is quite easy. I start equal sign. I start typing SharePoint and then the option is suggested SharePoint.contents. Lowercase and uppercase are significant in Power Query. So I'd rather always pick it from the suggestion list so it is spelled properly. And then inside the parentheses, I need to put the root of the path to my teams. I'm getting this warning because I'm about to leave with an incomplete formula, but I'm just gonna go to my notepad. And here, I'm just gonna take the path to my site. So demo is my uh, channel on teams. I'm gonna do copy. And then I'm going to come back to Power BI. And inside the parentheses, I also need double quotation marks. And that is where I paste that URL. So once I do check mark, I might get prompted to edit cred credentials. So I just log in again with my Microsoft account. So now it is connecting to my SharePoint with my credentials and it is going to the content of sites demo. And then you will simply browse through your repositories to find the budget folder. So under documents, so documents is on the second row, I'm going to click in the first column content column, I'm going to click on the word table. And this will explode, expand the documents folder. So here, I, the next folder was general. So I click again on table, and so on, it's going to explode. So here, this is a demonstration, I had no content. Uh, but probably if you're browsing uh, in one of your sites, uh, there's going to be many options. So then if we look back at the path, 
uh, my budget folder is inside demo on teams and so on. So I click on table for the relevant rows going through the path to get to the uh, desired folder. And I click one last time to get inside my folder so that I, so what's gonna be displayed is my folder content. And here for the content column, you have in the header an icon with double down arrows and you click on it. And now Power BI is gonna launch the standard process of combining a folder content. Here in my example, I have uh, Excel files. So therefore I'm gonna get a preview of one of those files to make selections. So depending if your files would be text, CSV or other file types, the next preview you'd be getting would differ slightly. So for Excel files, I'll need to uh, identify what content of the file should be combined. And those little files only have one sheet. So I choose sheet one, I'm gonna get a preview and that's gonna be uh, a budget table. I need to be patient. And eventually you see the expected result as uh, that folder contains two files that have been appended one underneath the other to create uh, one global table with my budget information. And that is uh, displayed under query one. And there's also uh, the big folder. So like always combining a folder's content, Power BI will generate that folder. And if need be, you could go on the query transform sample files if some transformations would need to be applied to each file individually prior to combining them. And the final result that we were looking for is query one.